everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Is the term proud Catholic something you would use to describe yourself? It's easy to feel like that label might apply when we're at Mass on Sundays, but there are also times when we might feel like we're better off hiding our faith. St. Margaret Clitheroe was a woman who was proudly Catholic in a time when being Catholic meant putting herself in danger. Margaret Clitheroe was born in 1556 as Margaret Middleton, but at age 15, she was married to her husband, John, and took the name Clitheroe. She was brought up Protestant, but a few years after her marriage, she converted to Catholicism. While Margaret's husband was supportive of her decision, England was not. Laws that punished Catholic believers were growing more harsh during that time, and Margaret's conversion put her directly in the line of fire. In support of the oppressed Catholic faithful, Margaret harbored priests and allowed them to say mass in her own home. Her house soon became a key hiding place for the fugitive priests of Northern England. As you might expect from someone willing to take such serious risks for her faith, Margaret was known for being particularly zealous. She promoted Catholicism whenever she could, and her oldest son even ended up traveling to France to study for the priesthood. Of course, all of this activity was bound to attract suspicion eventually. When Margaret's husband was called in by the authorities to explain why their son had gone abroad, he could not provide an answer that would satisfy them. Following his interrogation, the Clitheroe home was searched, and a frightened boy, intimidated by the investigators, revealed the place where vestments and chalices were hidden. For the crime of harboring priests, Margaret, along with one of her neighbors, was arrested. But Margaret's first concern was for her family and anyone else who might be punished for her involvement. She refused to plead innocent or guilty because she knew if a trial took place, her children would be made to testify, and that would put them in danger. She was sentenced to being crushed to death, which at the time was the typical punishment for someone who would not plead. Margaret was pregnant with her fourth child at the time, and the two officers appointed with her execution couldn't bring themselves to carry out the task. They ended up hiring a group of desperate beggars who did it for them. Margaret Clitheroe went to her death still praising Jesus and died a martyr on Good Friday in the year 1586 at just 30 years old. Being a proud Catholic doesn't necessarily mean being a loud Catholic. Margaret Clitheroe was very outspoken, but nobody will blame you for not awkwardly mentioning that you're Catholic when you introduce yourself to a stranger. Still, there are other ways we can display our faith. We can wear a crucifix or carry a rosary. We can talk freely about going to Mass on holidays, or if we're feeling particularly ambitious, we can invite people to attend with us. We're lucky enough to live in a time when we won't be crushed under rocks just for practicing our faith. We might as well take advantage of it. St. Margaret Clitheroe, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is a three-minute daily reflection that unpacks the lives of the saints with practical messages for everyday life.